Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of the Sales Mindset TV show. Okay, this week we are going to be talking about accountability, driving accountability. Yep. What does that even mean? <laughs> when, yeah. when you say driving accountability, I'm, I'm always accountable. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a solopreneur. If I, if, I'm, if I don't, I don't earn money. I've got to make myself accountable. Yeah. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? Well, it's, it, it is a slightly corporately based word, right? Uh, it means committing to what you set out to do. Committing to your goals. But it's not always as easy to deliver your goals because we're dependent on other people to help us deliver our goals. We are, aren't we? And even as a, as a small business or a solopreneur, you know, we, we have other people in the business. Some, we often don't think of it, but we have an accountant yeah. or maybe a bookkeeper. Um, sometimes an admin person, even the HMRC are part of our business. <laughs> we yeah. have to be accountable to them. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of people that we're accountable to, our printers, you yeah. know, people that do our business cards yeah. that we don't even realize. But we have to make sure we're accountable and they're accountable. Yeah. I, I, and, I mean, so, so understanding that kind of ecosystem of your, of your business is really, is really helpful. But, but it also... It also highlights the criticality to me of setting goals and then sharing those goals more broadly right so okay you might not be sharing with those partners your profit margins or your the funds you need to have to pay your bills but actually some of the elements in your goals it's really important that you share because you're helping others want to help you deliver on your goals and in, in a way you are helping them maintain your accountability to deliver on that goal. I've heard you a few times and I know other people talk about this as well use the word smart. Yeah. What does smart mean? Yeah I, and, and many of you might be going oh smart I've heard this a lot. Quite often when I sit in a room of people and I say well tell me what they stand for people start to get a bit hazy because it, it falls into that yeah, I know what it is, but I don't really know what it is kind of, ca <laughs> kind of category, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, so uh, it, it is a good place. I found it to be the most effective way to set goals because actually it breaks them down into those elements that you need to, um, to get to the right level of um, being specific. And it's in a format that you can share with people, people to help them understand why you've set your goal and what good looks like. So it is, it's smart. It's specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. And if you work through those five steps and create goals, they will be well-crafted, well-articulated, well-thought through. And if you share them with somebody, you are more likely to achieve them. Yeah, you've got to define them, haven't you? You've got to define them. What's your top tip? Well, I think the, the top tip is, is actually define them and share them yeah. because it makes you more accountable. It actually helps others make you more accountable. So set them in a smart format and share them. Brilliant. Excellent. So this week we are going to be talking more about accountability. Uh, I think it's really important um, going through the, throughout the year, definitely when you've got your self-development that we talked about last year, sorry, last week. Uh, and talking about accountability this week, yeah. um, it's really going to help you for 2019. Yeah. So do stay tuned in for uh, the other videos and the content coming out this week across all the platforms. Do join the Sales Mindset group um, that you'll find on Facebook. And Steve's there should you need any more help. But from us here today, thank you so much for watching. And we look forward to seeing you throughout the week for more content on accountability.